you were to leave. Okay, if I can uh, call this a mid order. Uh, today is the November 9th, 2017. This is our head of council on aging and senior service services board meeting. Uh, to start off with, I'd like to introduce a new member. The name of Casey Fowler. Hey, hi Casey. Hi, Casey. Welcome, welcome aboard. Thank you. And then uh, we'll go to the public session if there is no member of the public who wishes to speak. So we'll go right to uh, approval of the minutes. You know, I have a motion. Uh, good time, myself. Motion. <coughs> and uh, second? Second. Debbie and Maria. Yeah. Okay. Uh, has anyone got any problems with the uh, minutes as with any suggestions? No. Uh, the what? The minutes. I, had, I wasn't here, so I, you know. No, the minutes oh, from last. Oh, I have it. I have it. Yeah, yeah. Did you, you have no you problem with problems? Minutes, no. <laughs> you got lots of problems. You got problems with that. But not with the minutes, anyway. No, we, we spelled your name right at the top of your excuse last time. Is yeah. that good? Okay, good. So, no one has a problem? No. All those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. Aye. All those in uh, opposed, no opposed. The minutes have been approved. Okay. Old business. Next. Oh, update on Mary's Bistro. So, so far, everything seems to be going really well. We've had very good attendance. We're averaging anywhere between 27 and 45 ish a day, which I'm ecstatic about. I was going to be happy to get 15 to 20 for the first month. So we're going pretty well. There's been a few learning curves, but the guys have been really responsive to things. Um, I could use a few more volunteers on Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. If anyone is interested, you can come see me after the meeting. Um, not much to report other than that. Unless I'm making money. Uh, Rose isn't here. I was going to have her run numbers. We had a lot of startup costs, but we're pulling in about 250, between 200 and 250 a day. So I think we're really going to be fine once we've caught up. The community was a hundred dollars, and there were things like that that were expensive. You know, the first time, the first time you move into your apartment, you have to buy ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, yeah. salt, pepper. You're astonished how much it all costs. So. Once we catch up with those, I think we'll be very comfortable. We may even be able to lower prices a little bit. Uh -huh. um, today we did half price lunch for veterans, so we'll be able to do things like oh. that on a different occasion. Um, going very well in my opinion. Special congratulations for another. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was really, really, and um, it's it, it, it's really it's really cool. I mean, I I just when I come in and I hear all the bustle and the, it, there's all this chatter and it's really, it's got a great vibe. The senior center really has a great vibe. And now it's even better because there's a place to eat mm -hmm. and it's friendly and people are, our neighborhood is coming to visit too. So that's really the food cool. Is and the food, of course, the food comes too. Yes. Yeah. People Thank I've you. never seen before coming in and mm -hmm. trying it. So that's a really positive I will get lunch from here next time. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, you should. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was with a group of people from Ralph. Are there any questions? I've heard a lot of comments from people about the program of the jail cooperating. They, they thought that was wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, as oh, as I, think too. Yeah. I think that was, it's an excellent, excellent partnership. Mm -hmm. And uh, so many people have commented to me about it saying, wow, that's a good thing you're doing there. Yeah. I've been blown away by how supportive people are in that aspect. Yep. I had a man who, he wanted to give money to the guys today for the holidays. We said, no, they can't accept any money. Right. But I told him that we're putting aside the tip money to be able to do something for them when they're released. Oh. So he gave us a $20 tip to give to that. So people in this community have been extremely supportive mm -hmm. of that aspect. I also I can say I've been in and out of the kitchen and they're doing a nice job in there. Uh, Cleanliness blew me away the first time I went in there, and uh, they're doing very, very well there. A few glitches here and there, but I, I and, and pleasure to speak to people. And it's amazing. Well, we I'm lost, we lost one, but we didn't replace them, right? 
Well, we do have a new guy. Oh, she did um, Susan hasn't met him yet. Yeah, we have okay. a new person who uh -huh. has started this week. They'll be going to Harrison House shortly, but they're going to let them continue. Okay, do I know she talked to your dad? That, that's right now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to be the hard part is that people will yeah. be leaving yeah. and people will be coming right. home. I, I just noticed in the first article, of course, there was one person that complained about the price. Have you been getting any feedback that the price is too high? I mean, it was in the first article in the Gazette, which I thought was yeah. terrible. Yeah, that was awful. It was terrible that they interviewed that particular person on our first day. But Consider and the there was Gazette. a lot of people here. Consider yeah. the source. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Well, I think there's, a lot there's of there. options if someone needs a different priced lunch. They're certainly welcome to go to Salvo House and partake in that meal program. And we've handed out little cards to the staff members so that if we know of someone who could really use a meal, we can give them a card and they can have a oh, meal. Oh, I, I think that's, I'm sorry, that's because that's true. But I think I'm so thrilled to hear that. Yeah, we know yeah. our people and we know who needs yeah. a little like up. So, uh -huh. and we've done, you know, there was someone who came in and I started counting her change. I said, well, why don't you just try a sample? So we gave her some soup. So we're certainly not trying to run a multi-million dollar right. business or anything. What? Well, Susie and I have our share today, and uh, even two of us, I'm in a quarter. Well, uh, I can't get it. Well, you have the factory discount, yeah. so. Oh, that's oh, right. I get the factory discount, so it's only a couple yeah. bucks more. So it's been about 11 or something, yeah. 11 and a quarter. That's still, I can't, we can't go to the bottom of that. And this quality yeah. food. Yeah. The quality yeah. of the food is amazing. Yeah. Okay, Heather, do you think, are people yeah. coming over from? Yeah, we've had some people Yeah. 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 And uh, people coming in from some people. of the businesses? We've had people from the Gazette come in as repeat customers. The mm -hmm. people from the marijuana place have come in. They said okay. they, they get a lunches. half hour lunch. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. get a half hour lunch and it's the only place that is realistic for them to come oh, and get a lunch. So we have definitely That's have support. That's the way all the pies. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, They're all there's gone. There's whoopie pies <laughs> in the coffee shop for $1.50 everyone. So. <laughs> That, that was my lunch. <laughs> we done. I know. Well, I know. Yeah. That's we won't hold it. Okay, so any other questions or comments? Okay. But, well, there's one other thing that I thought was really interesting. The first week that one of the guys said something about um, how this is, is making such an impact on his life. And I, it, may, it made me want to cry because that's what it's all about. You know, it's... it's it's people helping people. So, and and what a what an incredible community to live in, where you know there there wasn't one negative thing said about the fact that we are, are um, that the people from the jail are actually coming here. Everybody everybody was so positive about it, and that just reflects the community we live in. Really special. Um, yeah. Can I just make a quick comment, piggyback you note. Know, um, from a public health point of view, it's uh, this could be a model, or I don't know if it was replicated already, but it could be a model for other communities uh, for best practices in community collaborations. Mm -hmm. And so I think that there's more excitement to come with it, and you might even be able to write something up and have it published in a journal or something mm -hmm. saying, look at this model for what we're doing and, and then you could look at the effectiveness of it and the impact it has not only on the community but also on the people from the jail and, and all around all of it. Yeah. So it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, moving on to the employment fair. First I want to introduce Deandra. Oh. Stand up. Deandra. Deandra is um, an intern <laughs> from Smith College and for some of you who don't know, I have three hats. I don't, I'm just not the director of, of the senior center. I'm also um, the ADA coordinator for Northampton, and then um, and then also in charge of the tax work-off program. And sometimes it gets overwhelming. <laughs> so anyway, um, Deandra is um, my is helping as my assistant in the disability commission, oh, and nice. she's doing a great job. Thank you. You're and, welcome. And she also uh, so she has about. 20 minutes to kill, and I'm not going to send her back to filing anymore. So <laughs> she's been out and about in the community, taking some great pictures. Um, we we did get a $10,000 grant for um, some dis for uh, to do a transition plan for the for the city, and and it's been really pretty exciting. So, but thank you, and we so appreciate you. 
and the employment fair. Okay, now the employment fair. This was really exciting. 76 people came. We had 10 providers, um, employers. Um, but this is the cool part. 20 were hired. Oh, and wow. um, yeah, that, that's a significant first attempt of, uh, you know, and it was the Sugar Shack and Hadley that hired four, you know, there. So it wasn't like, you know, you're not necessarily, but, but basically this is kind of what the population that we're working with is looking for. They don't necessarily want the big stressful power jobs like I have. <laughs> anyway, but um, I'm glad that, uh, anyway. Um, but they, they wanted just to be able to supplement their income and that's what the, all of the research is <coughs> suggesting. So um, we're going to do another fair in the springtime and see what happens. And we're going to bring in um, a lot of the, the colleges. And they had a previous commitment that day, but we'll, we'll have them on board. So maybe it's a more intriguing job opportunities. Do you want to pass this one? Sure. This is to earn, right? Yeah, any, well, anybody who, they should be all over the place. So yeah, at the, everyone here may. Yeah, it's um. The, that's this is a follow up from the employment. There is the employment network. So, um, there's a leadership group that are that are basically organizing everything. I'm kind of their cheerleader, and that's about five to six people on that committee. And then um, quarterly we meet, and it's an employment network, so that people can get the support, and you know we can get a, a, an aware awareness of what the needs are out there for, for the people that want to get employed. Um, and so we, we anticipate about 30 or 40 people that will be coming to that um, network. And again, that partnership um, with, the, um, with the Career Center is exceptional. I, they are just so tremendous there. And um, they're planning on, they did a couple workshops for us. And they're also going to be doing a few uh, a few more workshops um, in the following year. So it's kind of working. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, any uh, questions on that? Okay. We'll move on to Elder Vision. It's all yours, Bob. <laughs> oh, I wasn't prepared to say anything. <laughs> uh, Elder Vision is uh, doing very well. We have some money in the bank because we received quite a bit from the gala. Uh, I haven't totaled up the exact amount, of, uh, but it's probably seven or eight thousand at least. At least eighty-five hundred. Yeah. yeah, and so uh, we have one thing that's outstanding is the, the square that you used. I haven't seen anything show up on the, on the bank statement. If I have a bank statement, I have no idea. But I just got so maybe a square be in there. That'll help. And uh, so what we're currently looking for ideas of how to spend some of this money. Uh, <laughs> No, no trips to the Bahamas. Oh. And then included. If anybody goes, it's me. Yeah. I'm a treasurer, I can write the check. But uh, so we're looking for ideas, something to do with the senior center. We got, we got about uh, $27,000, $28,000 in there. Wow. And there's no sense of letting it sit in an only interest bank account for nothing. Might as well use it for something. Am I seeing this? It says we need a new senior center flag down below. So there's a Oh, oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're already, we've already we've contracted for that. No, I mean, no, you know, no, we've already agreed no. that we'll, we'll buy it. It's a banner, actually, mm -hmm. that we can carry in a parade with a pole. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. the one we got now is no pole, right. so you have to pull it. And carry <laughs> it out. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we've already priced it out at about, uh, about $100. How about the flying out here? That's on the agenda. That's, oh, that's, that's, oh, that's yeah. another flag, yes. Yeah. New. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I yeah. said new senior yeah. center flag. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The other is a banner we're going to yeah. carry, and the flag is. You going to march on Saturday? They didn't ask us. You what? Know, they did not ask us, and we have in the last in our last three parades, there was about five people marching, yeah. and it's just you know, and I've asked and asked, and nobody has come through. So, um, so if they didn't ask, we decided not to do that, and. So previously in the other life, um, we never participated in the parades either. So we'll see. Bob members will probably be <coughs> disappointed. Yeah, he was. Only, he already no. told me he's disappointed. Yeah. He yeah. actually said he wasn't for me. So oh. he, it, it's whoever he talks to. So it's Bob. Who's this? It's Bob. Okay, Bob and Susie. Susie and me and sometimes one or two of the staff and usually Jen, Jen was and there. then some of my staff really want the three-day weekend which I understand completely 
So when they, when they ask, we do it, but they didn't ask. So we didn't look. Okay, any uh, other questions? Okay, moving on to Northampton Neighbors. Okay, it's going well. Our partnership's going well right now. We have um, 285 members. In a year's time, 285 people from Northampton basically said they want to create a system of support for each other. So it's coming well. They're, there's still no funding, so that's always an issue, but there is a part-time staff person. So we'll, we'll keep our partnership with them. And as soon as they can, as soon as they get financially solvent, they'll have their own place and they'll have a, a complete autonomy from us. Okay. Any questions on that? Comments? Does that mean that these are paid members? Is there a fee now? Or there is no fee. No. Um, so there's that we're into, I mean, I'm on their board. We're anticipating a fundraiser for uh, after the holiday fundraiser, that kind of stuff. So, you know, we they don't they don't need a lot. It's a part-time staff person, and they need enough for um, their own this their own office, like a one-room office. But um, there's about 50 volunteers that have been vetted and. Um, and you know it's coming and they have they, but the, the challenge is they have five older people that really they that really need support right now so that's one of the, the, the challenges of getting out in the community and identifying people that need that support you but, more, more than the five is that what you yeah mean? yeah just I mean these five are members of, of the um, of the Northampton neighbors um, but you know it would be nice to have you know, a number of people to support out there, and that's, but you know, it's all within a year's time, so they did well. And how do you become a member? Is there a website? Or? Yep, there is, and um, Adele here is um, is here uh, twice a week um, for, full, for the full day, that, and she would actually, um, I can even send you an application to or whatever you want to do. You think? It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. it is. Okay. Any uh, comments on that? Questions? Okay. Moving on to outreach to the Latino community. We just hired our a ten hour staff person who um, is um, was originally from Puerto Rico who is bilingual and she'll be working with me and um, maybe a few volunteers to do some good outreach and um, bring the Latino community to um, use some of our services. When I was coming in today, all I could hear was Spanish speaking. There were people outside the door. Uh -huh. And I thought, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. No English speaking, just Spanish. I, thought, okay, I guess we're yeah. drawing some people in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and she is, she is very, very connected with the, with the Latino community and had worked with um, Casa Latina mm -hmm. before. And so she's where we'll be visiting Casa Latina. We'll be um, visiting the different um, housing authorities and, you know, wherever <coughs> her friends are and um, we, we've gotten a call into the housing authority to to say to see if we can do some um, some outreach and then we're going to actually do a forum um, with uh, you know with um, food that cultural food and um, you know just to hear um, some of their thoughts and you know what what kind of programming would be good for them and what what kind would you know how can we assimilate the cultures together too so that those are some of our dreams and um i'm really kind of excited about that too any other comments okay moving on to the holiday craft there okay it's, it's almost here next week um so if anybody lives in a, a nice area that well or i don't even care what area you live but uh, on a good road um, please take um, take a sign to put in your on your lawn if, if it's a, a well traveled road. Um, I got Middle Street, Jim. You're all right. <laughs> That's, we, we have um, all of these famous people on one street. What are you going to do here? Right? Um, so we'd love you to to, to, to take a, a a sign. We don't have that many. Um, our committee's working pretty hard. Um, Tuesdays and Tuesday and Thursday is going to be in the newspaper and the Gazette. Um, we um, Joanne touch base with WHMP. We've got a whole list of how to do the outreach that hopefully, fingers crossed, will will reach the the population we want to reach. Um, 
So we'll see what happens. Well, we're, oh, and we, we need our Florence Savings Bank person. Got it. You got it? I'm on it. She's on it. Okay. <laughs> you were on my list. Okay, great. So, um, I'm going to ready to twist. Oh, how many huh? vendors? Uh huh. How we many have. Vendors? Twenty-seven. Oh, 27. Wow. Twenty-seven. That's that's actually what we had last year, so it's right. it's the same. Um, <coughs> we are, we decided to do the bake sale. So if anyone wants to bring anything in to sell, we'd love you to to do that. And do you want to? Um, I just want to confirm who I have listed as volunteers for that day. So I have Kathy Service, Bob Montague. Lorraine, you're going to be in the kitchen with Barbara and John. That's right. Um, Barbara <coughs> and Martin. Oh, we we were taking my name off of that list, and a little will we'll mention later. But I'm going to be okay here representing the <coughs> senior center. Okay. So, yeah. Active aging in the valley. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um. So, um yeah. Time. Well, yeah. um, I need to work. figure out which okay. spot I <clears throat> want everyone in, so I will call you probably mid next week just to confirm times. Is it going to be the fair goes from nine to two? The fair itself. They, are they using the big room again for? Is there a lot of stuff from C to chest? Mm. Um, cedar I have people coming stuff. in on Friday to set up all the cedar chest stuff, so I think we decided the front room. Yep. The front room will we'll be selling things in the front room. It we don't we don't have as much as we had last year. Yeah. Um, last year I think they valued it at something like um, forty thousand. This year they valued the retail at twenty or ten, something like. Well, it's it's not as much, but it's still something, and we can still put it. We're advertising it like um, ninety up to ninety percent off. You know, Cedar Chest donated wow. inventory, and that kind of brings people in. Maybe I'll come. I'll come here instead of going to this. I know. <laughs> it's, 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 really, it's really, yeah. really cool. Yeah. You have the one you need people for um, set up. Um, the Friday before. Friday before. Okay. And then I have those students come in from Hampshire Regional, so I'm going to have them do a lot of the. They're going to take down the fall stuff. And put up some of the Christmas stuff probably that Wednesday before. So a lot of it should be good to go. Um, so what time would you need us? Friday? What yeah. time do you want to start? I think the afternoon. Okay. What do you think? Because you... The guys are coming at 9 a.m. to Purple move furniture, so... Oh, we're probably Friday. Oh, so the okay. is available. Is that available? Okay. How about 10 o'clock in the morning? I'm pretty sure that I think Kevin. we were planning on doing most of uh, still having activities in the morning, but then oh. everything stopped um, from 12 on. You can have any signs downtown? Bag day? Is that bag day? Right. Yeah. 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 We're just, there's, all the signs are going out yeah. now yeah. this weekend. Yeah. But, um, and anybody who wants to take any flyers, if you've got, like, I have Coopers, I've got Coopers, guys. Um, and, um, you know, anywhere around that you think that, like, if there's a kiosk or anything that could benefit. Right. On well, the bulletin yeah. board. <coughs> I've seen some of your signs around already. So oh, good. Good. We, we asked all the crafters to, right. to um, put them around, too. It's beneficial for them. Okay. Where do we get a sign from? So I can leave with one. Right here. Yeah. There's the flyers are there and then the signs are right next to the television. Oh. Oh I see it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can I ask mm -hmm. you to move Jen up from here to here to right now so sure. she can get back to work? No problem. She's got, yeah. No. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Jen, okay. you have the floor. Good afternoon, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Um, so I'm just coming in to speak to you a little bit about our transportation program, which began March 13th. Well, it was supposed to begin March 13th, but we had two snowstorms that delayed that. Um, so we've been operational now just about eight months. Um, and <coughs> some numbers to put um, to throw at you: we've had a 50% 50, 50 increase since we began in ridership. So that's pretty that's exciting great. at eight months. That's great. Um, so we're looking to expand and grow um, right now we have both of our vans operating on just tuesday and thursday <coughs> on thursday we have um, okay. 
<laughs> so Tuesdays and Thursdays we have our second van operating for group shopping trips. Uh, there was a period of time where there was a, we allowed for two hours of shopping, but I have been filling that in with other transportation that um, we wouldn't be able to satisfy with the with the other van. Um, so right now we're looking at, since we started the grocery shopping, which was back in August, it's a 200% increase um, in ridership there with the grocery Good. stores. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Good job. Have you got numbers? To, what, what's the start number and what's the end number? Do you have that? For the grocery shopping? Yeah. Oh gosh, that I don't have, but I can get that for you. Um, I know I have the percentage of you know what we've done every month um, from March to April there was a 3% decrease but I do believe that was on account of weather and holidays um, and we were just getting started up May to June there was a we a 3% increase so we made up for that um, June to July we had a six and a quarter increase J July to August 11% increase August to September was 26% and there was just a dip from September to October to a 13% decrease. But, but, you know, overall we are, you know, seeing some good results from what we're doing out there in the community. Um, we've been able to do some really interesting things as far as bringing seniors in for programming here. I've got a lot of seniors who are using our facility, you know, coming down for lunch, coming in for bingo, playing pitch. Uh, I've got some seniors that come here first thing in the morning and they're here until you know 3.30, which is the last pickup with our van. So they really utilize the center and mm -hmm. we're hoping to, to increase that as well. So we are looking to, um, we, we are at four part-time drivers right now. We do have one lovely volunteer driver who takes our low vision group, um, picks folks up and brings them here into the center. And we are looking for a substitute driver right now just to kind of fill in the gaps um, especially with what we're looking to do is get into some more you know group activity type of thing being able to take people to the symphony um, a group approached us wanting to use the van to get to symphony which is you know wonderful supporting the arts and we're just not there yet we're hoping the hopes is that by January 1st that we'll be taking those next steps to be able to to work with those groups and get them to places they need to, you know, places they're interested in, because there's more than life in Northampton, although it's pretty great, you know, it's not, it's not bad. Good. Um, yeah. How many people, speaking of going to Sunday, so how many people would do fit in the van at one time? We would be using our new van for that. Right now it fits 12 ambulatory passengers with the capacity to fit two non-ambulatory, so it's up to 14 passengers. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Jen, having um, done some research on the symphony part mm -hmm. for Donna Parks, mm -hmm. um, there is no matinee symphonies. Everything no. is at night. Right. And so that is something that we're looking into seeing, you know, driver availability. You know, to, to, take, to take people at night? Yes. Yeah. So that's why we're looking at the okay. substitute if we don't have drivers that are available to do those evening hours, you know, that we might have somebody that could, could take those trips. Okay, because we, we, we did research that. She, I know that she was hoping to, um, you know, think that there was something in the afternoon. And I'm disappointed she's not here today because I bought her some uh, CDs so that she could listen to the symphony because uh -huh. I can't get her there. Oh, you know, I'm done. Yeah. 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 yeah, so if she wanted to, she can borrow this for as long as she likes. But um, that they're just 7 or 7.30 performances. Yeah, yeah. That's keeping people out until probably 10 or 10.30. Yeah, right. Um, and you're going to need, more, I would think, I would think you're going to need more than just a driver. You're going to do like we do on the travels. You're going to need a trip leader. Right. right. And, so we're exploring. Um, I don't think you'll be able to tap into anybody that's presently on the travel committee to do that. Lauren, did you look at any of the places that might have nap maze? Like the other places that No, I did not. No, just, she just asked me to do yeah. it. <coughs> But there are, so we there are other places that have matinees? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes, yeah. Bushnell has at least two matinees a month. Yes, a lot of places do have matinees. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, um, the thing with insurance coverage, I'm told we can travel just in the state of Massachusetts. Okay. We would need to apply for a supplemental yeah. one day for sure. out of town, but I, it sounds, according to Joe Cook, that it's really not a problem to do. 
um, with enough information. And our travel agents co companies that we use, it's too bad. They're not interested in the bushnell because, see, that's right there in their backyard. So they're not interested in having trips to go to the bushnell. The people in Connecticut can just go to the right, bushnell. Right, right. yeah. So they're not interested in doing any trips so that we have a bus come up here. So those are really next steps, you know. I think we're, we're getting there, but we're not quite there as of yet. Um, we are planning a holiday shopping trip um, for December 6th. We're running a survey to see whether the majority would rather the Holyoke Mall or the Had, you know, the, ha mm -hmm. the Hadley shopping centers, whatever's easier. Um, thinking the Holyoke Mall is all enclosed, but Hadley has a lot of things to offer too that the Holyoke Mall doesn't. So we're looking to see, you know, majority on who wants to, to do that. So. How are you getting that information? What a survey. How is that being disseminated? A survey that's gone out, will be going out with the, um, on the van. Oh, so to, for the riders of the van, they'll the take the survey. The and we'll have it here oh, in the center cool. as well. So that is something yeah. that I think is Good job, Jen. I, yeah. Yeah. I just want to um, add say why I, I invited um, Jen here to acknowledge the great job she's doing. It's really <coughs> outstanding. Um, and I'm not going to say I have a great team because I say that every day and it's kind of getting old hat, but it's true. Anyway, the other thing yeah. is that every now and then somebody will say, well, why aren't you doing this or why aren't you doing this? And, and you as board members really need to be educated on where we're, we're doing one step at a time and we're trying to do that very well. And it's not like we are going to be going to the symphony or we're not going to be doing the things that we need to do. Um, but there's the symphony. There's a symphony now. Oh my God, is that mystical or what? Anyway. Um, and I'm, we we will get there. We're not there quite yet. I mean, our first priority Nobody was to make nothing. sure that um, everybody got shopping and get, got to do the things that they needed to do in Northampton. And then also the activities here. That that was one of the main reasons why this van was even looked yeah. at, to yeah. to get people to use the activities that have that were struggling with transportation at the senior center. So we've, we've checked those boxes. And then next year we're hoping to do the really exciting things that make it even even better. Yeah. Well, what about even um, going to the movies? Yeah, yeah, that's been. You know, that's um, been I mean, they, they would have local yeah. matinee times for yep, people yeah. and stuff. Oh. The, you um, know, it'll it'll happen, but you know, first it's and, and so the next step is the the mall shopping, and yeah. you know, and then. Um, and then finding that substitute driver, and there's there's some checks that still need to happen, but it, it's so close. But we'll get into the creative stuff soon. Yeah, you know, I keep on telling people, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Question. Yeah. I noticed that the medical transportation hasn't died down. So no. Are we getting a whole different crew of people that want to take the van compared to the medical transportation? I, I see that the people aren't switching over because the price is less. Or there are some people who really do prefer that personal service that medical transportation can provide. Um, for those of you I'm not sure that you know about a med our medical transportation program, volunteers use their own vehicles um, to take an individual to an appointment. There's no drop off and pick up. The driver stays with the individual through the entire appointment and they can stop at a pharmacy if they need to on the way home if a prescription was written and you know they're brought right back to their door. So there's not that, that wait time. So you do have people who really just with the van sometimes there is a little bit of a wait. Um, people just don't want to, to wait around. Um, but I, that really that individualized personalized service that comes with that one-on-one -on -one with the driver, uh, I find a lot of seniors really like that. Um, it's Medical transportation hasn't really slowed down because we are servicing more out-of-town trips. With the van, we're really only servicing Northampton, Florence, and Leeds at this point, um, with the exception of a medical center outside of East Hampton Valley Medical, which is just over the Northampton line, and Hampshire Orthopedics in West Hatfield, again, just over the line. Um, but again, because we're not where we are yet with use, the use of both vans, we're not able to do those out-of-town trips. Um, so medical transportation has been a way to supplement, you know those drives that we can't provide with the van. And I have another question about what, what is the time that the vans can drive people? 8.30 to 3.30. So 8.30 being the first pickup of the day, 3.30 being the last. Or 
was 3.30 getting them home, is that? Right, so wherever they are, you know, wherever that destination is, so we would pick them up 3.30 and however long it takes to get them home. Um, within the Northampton area, nothing takes more than 15 minutes, you know, to 20 minutes. Any other questions for Jen? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Get back to work. You know where I am if you have not okay. Get back to work. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Victoria in? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're moving on to the holiday dinner. I don't know why you all still look at me like I'm the program coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria is planning this one, so it's December 10th. She'll come here, and maybe she can talk. Oh, yeah. How about that? Wow. You walk in just in time. Well, I was keeping an eye on Jen, and I can see that she's still here. We, they were asking about the holiday dinner. Oh, OK. Any information on that? Yeah, so the holiday dinner is going to be Sunday, December 10th. Um, as in the years past, it's going to be 11.30 AM to 1.30 PM, but the meal starts at noon. But you know how people like to get in the building and get their seats and get a cup of coffee and um so the building will be open at like 11 15 11 30 for people to start coming in um john and barbara are doing the food thank you guys i believe the menu is it's up at the front desk mashed potatoes cranberry sauce turkey, all of the, turkey stuffing turkey, squash rolls and then and a special dessert oh that's so right that yeah yeah that was a very good deal so we'll keep the dessert a surprise um <laughs> and we're doing so the way people would get tickets it's ten dollars for northampton seniors with a scan card it's going to be fifteen dollars for anyone else so it is technically open to the public but it'll be fifteen dollars for members of the public that aren't seniors or from out of the area um and then people can bring canned goods um for the food pantry in order to be entered into our drawing That's nice. we don't know yet what that prize is going to be um and it's not on the actual tickets because we weren't sure at that point when i made the tickets if we were doing that this year but it's going to be on the flyers and in the paper and everything um been asked yeah about, and i think people are used to doing I, that so i think yes. it's it's kind of expected, but How about like a certificate to downtown Northampton. Something nice, yeah. That way, that, nice. that way you're not picking out a, right. a, a, yeah, an individual you, restaurant and you're not letting them go. And you don't have to pick a physical go. gift or anything because you know yeah, you never know what people want. Downtown, when are the tickets going on sale? <laughs> the tickets started. So the tickets have been on sale since the first of November. Um, they're up at the front desk. So when you pay for your ticket, your name goes on the sign up sheet, but you also get a physical ticket with a number on it. Um, so very similar to pretty much every other event we've ever done. <laughs> That's pretty much it on holiday dinner. Is there oh. any entertainment? Yeah, so the band from the gala, the high school oh, band, oh, they, were terrific. Um, <laughs> they were very, very oh, good. So yeah. they're from the high school, and but they're like, if you close your eyes and you listen to them, you wouldn't think they were teenagers. You know what yeah, I mean? They they're great. They're, they're very, very sense. talented. So I reached out to them. They're available, um, but the the guy that kind of court they only have a Facebook page, and so I've kind of like been Facebook messaging with them. Um, so the guy who kind of coordinates their gigs is checking to see like how substantial their holiday repertoire is. I mean, not that regular jazz music wouldn't be nice, but I I think that they do have like a pretty substantial holiday music repertoire, so that'll be nice. Um, so that's kind of what the plan is. So do do they get paid as individuals? or uh, is a donation or they have a fee that then get, goes into their club or something like that? The actual band? Yeah. So, although they are all high school students, the band is not the high school band. So they are independent of the school itself. Oh, okay. Oh. So we would ha we hire them and pay them just like we would any other group. Nice. Yeah. And actually for the gala, they were here three to four hours and they only wanted like $150. For like six of them <laughs> or something wow. like that. we ended up we gave them like a hundred percent tip you know yeah. Yeah. Money you raised, oh, yeah. 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 yeah we did we get we yeah. were we were a little yeah. generous with them because yeah. they were so fantastic and yeah. we heard raves about them all night um so we, we did pay them extra but i don't think i it yeah. just felt it felt to me like they didn't realize what they were worth yeah. you know yeah. so but can so we use they don't have an money? agent. I know, they definitely don't have an agent. <laughs> we yeah. can, oh my God, we can, can we use our Oh, yeah, I'll do it, yeah. And give them a, yeah. a holiday tip, yeah. too? 
Uh, Victoria requested, my way to check. Okay. Yeah, we were very happy with them. So they got a tip last time, and I think, oh, good. I think so this time, I Facebook messaged the guy, and I think within like three minutes, he got back to me. He's like, yes, yes, we want to do it. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. So I think because we probably tipped them pretty well last yeah, time. Yeah, nice. Um, and they really liked it. It was one of their first, because one of the parents came toward the end of the gala because he was picking one of them up. And we were talking with them and he was like, they're so excited about this. This is one of their first real gigs. So that was good. It was a win-win, but they'll be great to have again. So. so there was a reason, another reason that I invited Victoria here. Okay, um, we, we just want to kind of show and tell what's happening mm -hmm. in the last year. Um, basically, um, since Victoria has come on board, um, and she's, she took care of, uh, she takes care of all the rentals, and they're very professionalized now, versus when I was doing them. it and trying to, you know, keep them, um, you know, writing it in longhand and stuff. And um, she's done an outstanding job, another great staff person that's doing an outstanding job. Um, and we, we thought we would show you a little bit of the before and after. So there, before Victoria and then after Victoria. Um, and along with that, and I'm going to stop talking because you're going to tell us <laughs> about this. Um, so I don't know if you guys, so I started back in what, January? End of January? Um, and like, I've always used, so the city uses Google as their email platform, um, and I've always used Google, and I, in, in school and stuff, I'd use Google Drive and Google Calendar and things like that just as like personal tools for myself, but when I started here and I realized that the city has Google, I was like, why don't we have all of our programs on a Google Calendar? So that's, I think that's what I spent like half of my first day doing, <laughs> like literally sitting with the Chronicle and yes. putting everything in the calendar. So the handout that's coming around now is the Google Calendar, and I, I think it's January. I think it's the actual week that I started. Um, and all of the programs and activities that were on the calendar that was in the Chronicle at that time are on this. Every room is a different color. So like the red is the activities room, um, the orange is the classroom, the yellow is the front room. So every room has a different color. Um, but I'm gonna send around now, this was a couple of weeks ago. The week of October 23rd um, is our, has been our busiest week so far. So I'm gonna pass those in, in terms Oh of my gosh, <laughs> busy in terms of. Room usage, people in the building, rentals, programs, uh -huh. meetings, everything that happens in the building is on this calendar. Um, it helps us with space. Like if I have somebody come to me that's like, oh, we're looking for a space for 10 people next Tuesday at 5. I can literally just go to next Tuesday, look at the calendar, see what rooms are available. I know how many people each room holds. Um, so we've been using this a lot. And actually, we're using it now for coffee shop shifts, reception <coughs> shifts, staff schedules. And we kind of have like separate calendars for each of those things. Um, but I want you to kind of see the difference between <laughs> like when I first started and we really only focused on programs for our seniors that were happening like these are the activities specifically for the seniors and then the, the calendar now includes all of our rentals all of our after hours stuff um, we have a lot of stuff happening on weekends now that we didn't use to this calendar doesn't show the weekends um, but we do have weekend rentals now and so the calendar in October just in that week we had 17 instances of renting of 17 rentals um, and in the first week we had none, um, which is really nice because I get lots of checks in my mailbox every week. <laughs> um, and we don't, I don't know if any of you have seen the new, uh, room rental guidelines. It's, it's here. Oh yeah. So, so we have new room rental oh, guidelines, um, which just takes the basic information from renters. Some of you have used it. Like I know Mark's used it, um, cause his group rents from us, but Linda and I sat down and we streamlined the pricing and, and we laid out guidelines for groups which kind of existed before but not really. Um, so now anytime I get contacted by a rental, they get the application packet, they fill it out, they return it. If we can do it, we accept it. If we can't do it, we don't. Um, but the room's still really affordable. We charge $30 to $40 an hour for the great room. And we charge $15 to $20 an hour for every other room. Um, 
And a lot of groups, especially if they only need an hour or two, are like more than happy to pay that. Um, and a lot of groups use our AV equipment. That's like an additional flat fee. Um, we've actually brought on two or three more building monitors because we were kind of um, getting to the point where the, the two to three building monitors that we had were working like several days a week. Bob knows. Yeah. <laughs> you work Tuesday and Thursday this week. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, so we're bringing on a couple of new building monitors too to kind of um, catch up with that demand. So things are good. The building's getting used a lot. Um, it's getting used much more now, like for the heat and the lights and the cost of a building monitor and, and the cost of having staff in the building and all that. We're getting a lot more return now for, for that money that we're investing. Is anyone ever asking to rent the great room with the use of the kitchen? So when I first made, it's not an easy answer, unfortunately. So when I first made the room rental guidelines, we weren't doing the, the lunch service in the bistro yet. And we were only using it occasionally for our own special events. So we thought for a little bit that, okay, well maybe if they had a serve safe certified person, if they had a professional caterer, maybe we could let groups use the kitchen. Well, it turned out not to be that simple. Um, and it's hard, it's harder now that we've started lunch service because we have our own food in the fridges, we have our own cooking utensils, we have our own serving stuff. Um, so long story short, from when I started the room rental guidelines to now, we've excluded kitchen rental because it's just safer and easier and less confusion. Um, so any group that wants to rent and do food, it's all carry in and carry out. They have to bring their own coffee. Have you had many requests? Huh? Have you had many requests of groups to say, cool, we also rent the kitchen? For you, so, oh, we've had a handful. We've had, um, much, yeah. no, no. And if it, and I remember talking uh, with Heather about this, but I said if we had this huge demand for the kitchen, it might be a different conversation, but we've only ever had a handful of groups who said, oh, by the way, can we use your kitchen? And so I think it's just not worth it. So. I'm thinking in terms of uh, like uh, Florence Savings Bank, when they come in and they're bringing the weight in. Yeah. The way they're going to use the kitchen for that Florence Savings Bank meal? Are they not? I'm sorry. Just gonna come in. What sorry. Did Florence Savings Bank uses the kitchen? She doesn't know about that. So well, well, I was here the last time they were here. We don't know. Um, some of us may not know. There's either. certain things I'm sure we can talk about. Well, that's if it. it's a known person like that, we might be able to bend the rules. Because I know Waitley and does use the kitchen for that. Well, the other thing is but, that. So I, they may not want to, Florida Savings Bank may not want to. I also I wouldn't shot. necessarily worry about the weight <laughs> of going into our shantry. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about that. I'm just saying if you're making a rule, <laughs> I just it's a rule. I just got it. So yeah. that's why there's a that's why there's a guideline in the guidelines that say all of these are subject to change, blah blah blah. And I and I think that we have a few groups and a few people that we work with regularly enough that we're comfortable with, and especially if the kitchen isn't being used on that particular evening. Like I'm not gonna if I know the kitchen's empty and I trust Seth or whatever, and there's no reason that I wouldn't let that particular person use the kitchen. So yeah, there, we also smoke off the street yeah, after right. our last experience with the kitchen. Oh, I agree. No, you don't you know? Yeah. yeah. We had a, a so there's definitely room for flexibility in certain situations like that. that but uh, we had problems with somebody who was using the kitchen. My job. Yeah, we've had ongoing instances where people, when it's your own kitchen, you keep it a certain oh, way. Oh, yeah. And when someone else comes in, they don't always clean your dishes right, put stuff back, mm -hmm. and they go in, they're taking. Or they leave the, the now trash. Now that we're using our yeah. kitchen on a weekly basis, we need to know what's in there. We need to know it's clean. It's my serve safe on the line, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just not interested in a headache around any of that. So for ninety-nine percent of rentals, it's just not even an option. Um, and most groups, they you know they don't have that many people. They don't mind bringing in coffee and donuts, or you know like for most groups, it is not. It's a non-issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we occasionally have a group that, for some reason, does a big meal or something, and it's someone we trust, then that would be that would be you know separate. Once a year, the Hampshire Chorus, uh, which is at about 110 people, in it, brings food in with them, and they set up a table on the side. Yeah, 
And that's an example. And we've definitely had big groups that yeah. have no problem. They told for thirty dollars an hour, they don't mind getting, you know, ten sandwich platters. It's so for a lot of groups, it's not a big deal at right. all. There's the occasional group that's like, oh well, we were really hoping to use the kitchen, but that's so rare. Have you ever had anybody refuse? To rent because you couldn't use it. I don't think it's that we've had anyone refuse to rent like in an upset way, yeah. but if they know they need a kitchen and they read our guidelines and we don't offer kitchen use, they just go elsewhere. Yeah, they don't go, yeah. 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 So that's all. And, and um, to just follow up, um, beginning the week after the um, the holiday fair, um, we will, the winter market um, food um, will be here yeah. on oh. Saturdays. So starting on the 25th of um, November, which is a Saturday, um, the winter market will be here. And I have had extensive, extensive conversations with the two women who organize it. Um, and it's a big group and I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel as comfortable renting to them if I, if I hadn't kind of gone through all of the nitty gritty with these two women, but their vendors set up all their own booths. The vendors take down all their own booths. The, the two girls stay afterwards, they bring their own rooms, they have their own cleaning supplies. Oh, wow. How, what, what are the hours of it? Um, so I believe they're renting the space like seven to three. It says eight to three on the calendar. Okay, this but I think the market- Smith School? This was at Smith yeah, School? Yeah, that's the one that was at Smith School. Oh, um, but oh, the market itself, the hours are a little different than that. That The rentals include setup and breakdown time. I think the market closes at one, the winter market. Yeah. Not yeah. So they have the room for like an hour and beforehand and then a couple of hours afterwards. Um, they're also renting the bistro right next to the great room because they do have some of their vendors that have like prepared foods. Um, and that's something else I made clear. I said, you, all your vendors can bring in individually wrapped muffins or whatever it is, but you can't cook in the building. <laughs> so, so like you can't, you know, you can't bring in raw meat and have somebody cooking on a hot plate in the middle of the great room. Um, so they're clear about all that and they're renting the bistro so that people kind of have like a, like a dining space, like if they, if they purchase something and they want to eat. Oh, wow. um, but they, they've told me they're very good house guests. They don't leave a mess. They still take the trash out. Is um, there a way to lock the door that goes to the kitchen from the yeah. bistro? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I, I'm of the opinion that it doesn't stay locked enough already, mm. you know, yeah. I, but, but there's certain groups that, that use the kitchen that we're comfortable with, you know, Amy's in and out of there for tea and there's certain people that are authorized to use the kitchen right. That's different. who can't always be running around trying to find a key. So yeah. I was thinking during the market. During the winter market. Oh, it will yeah. definitely be locked during yeah. the winter market. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the, the significance of this is the fact that it does give us a really good state, um, revenue source. Yeah. And then the secondly, it, it brings people in that sometimes would not have gone through the doors of the Seeker Center. Mm -hmm. and, and it creates that community atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So it is um, maybe next week, next month, we're bringing you an I idea of what kind of sure. increase um, our membership has. I forget what was happening last week, but we had six people sign in. Um, just election day. Oh, sign up for scan cards. Yeah, no. Fifteen um, for election day. Fifteen new members came to here. So I'm sure that that's going to make a difference at, with the the um, with the market. And and what we'll we might do is you know for our building monitors is to you know really um, prep. Previously, you know, you didn't really have to know everything, but you know, having, um, you know, just the the be educated enough to say, well, here you definitely want to call Victoria, or you want to call Heather or Linda, and here's their card, and we'd love to have you on board. So they they will be more than just building managers; they'll be our ambassadors when we're not open officially. Yeah. And uh, did you give any thought to the fitness center on that day? Well, yeah, we were talking about that. Since it's actually open, um, we might even let the fitness center be open because that's been a request that's out in the community. For Saturdays, you're talking about yeah. when you have the 
I, can we second the motion? <laughs> the motion. Yeah, well, well, the hard, the only hard part with that is parking. <laughs> so the market is going to have so many people. The market's going to have kind of two layers of parking. It's going to have the thirty some odd vendors. Oh. Um, and I've had this conversation with Ali, um, who organizes it, and it'll be it'll be like bright and early on Saturday mornings, and a lot of the groups don't. <laughs> stay the whole like a lot of the vendors don't necessarily stay till the very end of the fair um or of the market so the vendors are going to try to park not in this lot whether it's over there or on the street or something the vendors are going to try to leave this lot open but then you have all the people who are visiting the fair um or the market who who are going to park as well and then the there fitness may, center would kind of open that third. Well, there may be people who, if you don't who do mind, both. Best, who are coming yeah. for both reasons. Yeah. Well, and that was kind yeah. of our thinking, too. Yeah. Like, I, I would do But that. we don't want the yeah. fitness center. The fitness center is not open to the public. You have to have a membership to go. So we don't want people right. coming to the market saying, oh, okay, I'll jump on a treadmill No, we know it's that that's not allowed. Right. And that so somebody's got to monitor. But well, and, that's, be, and that, it would be yeah. a staff yeah. issue at that point. Right, exactly. Because, and the other thing is, the fitness center is a fitness center. It can't just be open with no supervision. Exactly. So, exactly. so it so would be a discussion to have with the with the fitness center attendants. It would be a discussion yes. to have with like that might even mean having Insurance a staff yeah. person who doesn't do a Monday and does a Saturday or something. And I used I in the past had worked in the fitness center too. So if you ever need an extra person yeah. to help make that happen yep. on a Saturday, I do have to okay. help out. But we have had a lot of really <coughs> yes. If you have it open then during that, then what happens after the market's all done? I don't know. It would only be the morning closing. Yeah. No, no, she no, means when no. winter's over. Well, yeah. Oh, that's a good oh, question. And people are going to be on Saturday. Well, and, and so and I don't is, think it's a good idea to keep well, it closed. Well, and this is more of a, see. it's more of a conversation for director, assistant director, and Jen, you know, who, who oversees yeah. Bob and, no, and Sean. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we got you both. Do we know? But there were, and at the last board meeting, who was it? Um, one of the board members did make mention that many of her friends are still working during the business day, but they would like to be able to use the fitness center also. Would they realistically get a membership to go to one time for a similar amount of money? Yeah, yeah, whether the there price. would be discussion at some point about whether it would be open, if the building's open any evening, whether the fitness center could also be. I mean, these are things that are strategic planning for down the road naturally but it's interesting things to think about yep. and to you know maybe try to meet the the demand yeah it, it was no problem at all by extending it to five you know there it really there was no hiccups at, at all and and opening it from eight to five and she, so that was a change in the system yeah. so we'll see you know we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll do our we'll do our homework. Three thirty or four. <coughs> You couldn't get down here and start exercising at four or four, and then quit at four. Right. But now they can't find. Yeah. So take care. Took care of some of these people. And we right. do get a lot of people who come in the fitness center for I'd say like the last hour of the day. Because mm. um, they probably work till X time and yep. then could come for the last yeah. right. hour. Right. The other thing we have to keep in mind is that the fitness center here is for the seniors. Yeah. I, we realize other people can use. Well, it's the fifty-five it's, and up. Right. The yeah. winter market really attracts a lot of young people with their kids and they're getting the local produce and they I mean I've been to the winter market many times and it's it's mostly young people that can yep. do it. So you really have a cross yeah purpose of it. So well I'm, and, I'm, and the only thing that would concern me is that you're having a core senior center function going while you're having a very, very right, different public. function right. going. Different Different and I know that our seniors audience. would know what to do. Like if you belong to the fitness center, you know you scan in, you know right. you, but that can't be necessarily said for everyone else in the building. That's right. And so a lot we of have to bring their kids. So we'd have well, to be very. Why need the monitor. You'd have to be very strategic about it. Yeah. That's the function of the yeah. monitor, in all honesty. Yeah. 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 We'd need like yeah. three with all the people in the building. With yeah. the with we'd need like three or four <laughs> staff people in the building. Easily. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. Okay. It's a, it's an ongoing con conversation. Yeah, show, ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh. <laughs>
This new uh, list here is really impressive compared to what was last year. Thank you, Good job, Victoria. I just wanted to show you the gift yeah. of this. Oh, thank I'll you. Thank you. Good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. And if any of you have Gmail, I can share this with you so you can actually see it. Like, it's, he has it on his iPhone. <laughs> it's the greatest thing in the world when I'm out somewhere and somebody says, what happens at the senior center? I can just pull this up and say, hey, look, this is happening tomorrow, tomorrow, nice. tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah. and say, here's where you are. What else do you do? And I just give them the phone and say, look at it. And they go, look at it. You got tap dancing? Well, I think I can do that. <laughs> and the nice thing about the Google Calendar is it's a lot, it's how we communicate with each other now. Like the building monitors all have access to it at the laptops up front. So if they need to know, uh, who's on duty, if, if you can click on an event and you can write details, so I'll write the room set up for a renter. I'll write how many people we yeah. expect. I'll write, did we, did they do their application? Did I charge them? Did I do the final invoice? All in the description of the event. So like, if it's on the, if it's not on the calendar, it doesn't exist mm -hmm. for the most part. So That's it's a very, very helpful tool. It also saves my wife being upset with me that I haven't. Did you share her. it with her? Yes, she no. has it on hers. Now, <laughs> so then she knows where Jim is. And like I have Jim's calendar, so when I need to schedule a meeting with Jim, with Jim, I can tell when he's available, when yeah. he's not. It's very, it's very it's helpful. The worst room. We see we we meet a lot together for other reasons. Uh -huh. yeah. So the reception <laughs> within the bar. Is yeah. So good. yeah. Hey now. Yeah. 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 That is. That's, that's always. <laughs> The black ones. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Okay. Thanks, Ben. Well, thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you can get this on Google. Yep. You have to get put it. She's got to put you on it. Oh. Okay. To get the Google oh, map and then get the app. Get it. I have. Five I only have the computer. I don't have this. Okay. Can you put it on the computer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, well, Kathy isn't here, so we won't have a Highland uh, Valley Elder Services report. That's good. So why don't we go on to the new business, Scent Free Area at Senior Center. Okay, so I'm, I'm just wondering what your, your thoughts are. Um, this has been approached, uh, people have approached me pre previously regarding that. Um, what are your thoughts? A lot of people. Say that, how many? One. <laughs> and I would say don't bother. Don't bother. I say don't bother. What was it? Uh, I would disagree with that. I would say I've had 25 to 30 people ask. Oh, one of one. which, I one of which is my wife. Okay, she cannot come in here and sometimes go in to have a cup of coffee because some of the people in there wear scents, and she's definitely allergic to them. Isn't that good for you? Yes, but <laughs> I just said that on national TV. You know, no, but uh, it, it, it works that, that I know the law, numerous people have said that to me that especially people that work out. That so how do like, you have a scent free area if somebody, ha it's like a smoke free area to it? me, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, it so is. like it all wafts into some other area yeah, and people have to walk area. through to it's get, get to, to it. Whole place or I mean, yeah, how, I mean, how, how basic is it? Does it, does it mean, in a place no, uh, obviously, obviously it's 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 set, no perfume. Right. No lotion, no, no, yes, no right. uh, body lotion, no, no, lotion. no deodorant, right. no, no scent, well, no, nothing scent. How, how do you define that? And how do you get to it? How do you define that? That's that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's logistically it's very difficult. From no. someone from working out in the gym, it's really awful when someone comes onto a machine and I'm going, <sighs> and this person has a scent yeah. on. So it's, it's, I haven't noticed it so much because there's a sign up in there that said. Oh, you know, don't don't wear in in the in the business business business. Business. Oh, there is so I haven't already. noticed it as much. And I, I've actually spoken to people. People come very dressed up to work out at the senior center, <laughs> at the business center. I mean, I, I I have on my you know well, my workout clothes, but they, but they work. come dressed up and they've sprayed perfume on them, themselves or aftershave or something. And that's not what people typically do at a gym. It's after you're at the gym, then you put your scent on. So it's pretty awful if somebody has uh, heavy. You know, they've sprayed themselves down before they've got there. How much the BO they're so uh, accumulating in that room? <laughs> That's scent. It's different. It's different. This is it true. Does it make you hyperventilate? Does it make you pass right. out because you can't breathe? Nobody's allergic to it. I mean, my daughter has. <laughs> I can't deal with the scents, yeah. and and she she has. You know, she would actually get to a hospital. Mm -hmm. So there is there is there's, there's a level of need. of. Um, of this that is issue my my thought is that you know without making it mandatory we could just ask people to be sensitive of the fact that there are people 
that um, can that you know would have that would, uh, that would be in a rule. You have yeah. a center, and and just a see man, if people could be understanding of that at this point. Wait, wait, wait. Other than that, you can sign on the, the door. door. The no door. sense at the center. No, 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 no. no. Just to, but but most of the doctors' offices are sent free areas. Never put it in the chronicle. Never saw it. Yeah, I think I think writing an article in the chronicle just saying that it it does. Yeah. Especially for a fitness center. Yeah, I mean, it's, be, it's reality. It's to be sensitive to the no. considerable yeah. situation. I, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can guarantee a you scent can't, free. You can't, you can't even guarantee you a scent that, free. Somebody walks in and is That's allergic and has a reaction, then what? They're going to sue us because we said it was scent free and it wasn't scent free. No. I so mean, we're opening ourselves up to. Okay, so oh. an article in the the Chronicle and then just maybe a few. And yeah, just right. be, be um, understanding of that. Be considerate. Be, be considerate yeah. 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 That would be the worry. But you have to remember yeah. that some elderly women lose their. A sense of smell. And Just so they go, don't go there. Well, some men too. Thank you. Men don't use that to shave excessively. Men really work hard for the first time. All right, so a sign that the sense of smell is a bad sense of smell. You tend to put more on if you don't notice it. Open arms. Open arms. Okay. All right. Service dogs. Why don't you write a service dog policy? Sure. So um, uh, we did a little bit of, and this is where Deandra helped me because you know this is somewhat of a, a disability issue too. So um, basically, and then also Heather helped me to um, find the city policy and um, it's sort of, in, it's in brackets and we can follow that and um, that policy um, and, and what we will do is um, basically train the volunteers um, to be aware of the, the service dog policy for the city. Um, the other thing that is a really kind of a tricky part of it is that um, on the third page, these are things that from an ADA perspective you may ask um, and then there you may not ask. So you may ask, is the, sir, is the dog a service animal required because of a disability, or, or um, what work or task has the dog been trained to perform? And those the are question. the only two things that we can ask. That's Correct. the question, because you can't define a disability. If you say, mm -hmm. is this for a disability, they'll say yes, and then you can't ask what it's for. Uh -huh. The second question is the question to ask. Yeah. What task does it do for you? And they have to answer that question. And if it's just that they comfort me, comfort dogs are not service dogs. So they're and not the ADA. And had a big article. Yeah, a comfort they, dog is not a service oh, dog according been, to the ADA. Aunt your life gave this example of what a comfort yeah. a service dog is. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Comfort dog and emotional support dog. Yeah, they're not, not service dogs. Animals. Oh. Yeah, so when they say, well, it keeps me calm because I have anxiety, yeah. that's not a service dog. So what are you going to do? Ask them to leave the you building? You can ask them to leave the building. You can ask them if they can't bring the yeah. dog in. That's can't bring the dog. Dog. But you didn't ask the disability. You asked what task does it perform. Yeah. They say it calms me down because I have anxiety. That's not a service dog. Comfort dogs are not service dogs. But the bottom line is that you only, there's two questions to ask. Right. right. And if you don't, if you ask any of those other questions, then you, you'd be liable. Right. Yeah, but you know, the second one. Answer lead you right what, into uh, read some of those questions okay there. you may not ask the person's disability right. require medical documentation require a special identification card or training documentation for the dog ask the dog ask that the dog demonstrate its ability to perform the work um, or task I'm just thinking of my Gracie, oh God, forget that one. Um, and you cannot ask a, a person to remove their dog unless the dog is out. This is, this is when the other, when the other two questions were asked and uh, affirmative. So you can, um, you can't ask if the you can cannot ask a person to remove their dog unless um, the dog is out of control and the handler does not uh, take effective action of it to control or the dog is not housebroken so that so if, if you know it's a service dog because of these two answers then the then you know if, if the only reason you would ask them is of the housebroken stuff and they're kind of crazy and they're not leashed mm, yeah I did go on a little bit more I, I read the same thing in a lot of research 
Yeah, examples of that would be, you know, growling, barking, right. jumping on a furniture, nipping at people. Or going after, you're not going after, dog like my, I work with blind people, so going after a dog that's there with an obviously blind person. Um, they have a hard time when an un, you know, unruly right. dog comes in and tries to, you know, hang out or... A or true service dog won't do that. Right. A true right. service exactly. dog true, but is their job. They're not trained in a certain exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah. And they wear a vest. Well, they all, we can get those online. You can buy a vest anywhere. You can buy those anywhere online. Yeah, anywhere. So you, can't you can get all the vests you want. Yeah. yeah. So, so there has to be, there's a little bit of education that is part of, of this. Then, you know, two simple questions, and that's what we'll, we'll do with um, our volunteers and our staff. We'll, we'll know those right questions. I don't think right the volunteers questions. feel comfortable approaching the situation. And they probably don't have to. Um, so I get approached by them, yeah. and that, I think that's yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah, that's one of those red flags that, you know, they, they definitely we would ask them to come to us. I, 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 oh, go ahead. I'm just, always, I'm just wondering, what's, why do dogs not, or a person that has a dog, have a, a card or something that says, doesn't that say your disability. Doesn't say your disability. A card to just say, they ADA, online all yeah, this is my service animal. Done. Well, it's official. It's official to snap no. on. At least we, you know, when, if I they know don't they have that card, yeah, they don't have then you to. can say, all right, goodbye. You know, but if they do, then fine. But I just don't understand why they don't. Why? Why is it such a big secret? I don't mean. I don't want to begrudge a dis disabled yep. person for yep. that, obviously. But why? I don't understand. Mm. That's crazy. Have, have we had this happen? Have we had someone? We've had a, uh, we've had dogs. Okay. Was it problematic? Yes. Problematic situation. Well, there's going to be somebody's allergic. I mean, yeah. like a ten-foot leash running all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. most dogs do. You, you do have identification for, but we're not allowed to ask right. for that right. identification. Right. So why are we allowed? There's ask? a certain harness for a dog that's you know used for the blind, and, yeah. and you'll see it with the woman that comes here regularly for tap dance. She has a. A, a guide dog for the blind. But that dog's going to be white dance or something. Oh, yeah. 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 The dog they want to have a dog walk. Yeah. 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 I, I also agree with Marlene about um, the it's first question. question. I think you have to get rid of that. Yeah, the first question. Because you I would can't say that word disability. I don't know. I would I cross off the first question. I've been told that, that the only thing that you can ask is what task does the animal do? But if you say the word disability, the person is going to blow up at you because you're not going to because they are going to set up a defensive <laughs> situation right off the bat, and then you can't get to the second question, and then you're stuck. Because it's almost like asking. But they do. Yeah, this was actually on the ECA <laughs> website. Yeah, I know. No, no, sure, but it doesn't um, work. Yeah, no, that's but fine. I don't, I don't want to do anything. Again, you also have to remember, yeah, they say comfort or I have anxiety or whatever. That's Okay, well, we have a policy now, and we have to get moving because time is running short. And I, so I also, one other thing about yeah. this, I looked up about having a sign put like on our front door, and they do cost something. So, you know, I, I can maybe elder. Elder Division's got money. Got money. Yeah, we got the money. We've 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 got the I mean, it's not the signs, though. That was kind of crazy. But they're like eight. I'll have it to my list. Eight or like a Oh, my goodness. What's the Service dogs only or something? Yeah, you know, they have like an official looking little thing. You just won't have a beer tonight. Get somebody to eat No, drink expensive beer. They need to eat that. Shall we move on to the policy on 55 plus age participation? Yep. And this is, um, I was hoping to have one written, however, there's a couple of things that I want to go by you with, um, run by you guys first. Um, Amber actually has um, a policy that it's 55 um, or disabled. And, but I, I Amber's Council on Aging, and I called the Council on Aging Director about it. And um, she said, yep, that's, that's our policy. And she said there's not that many people, and if, if say, it's some kind of, um, you know, a, a certain class that if you have a, a, a very, uh, you are paraplegic or something and can't participate, you know, there's limitations. But, but and, and to, there is a but. I, but then when doing the investigation, no other Council on Aging offers that. It's a, a really interesting quandary. 55 plus. 55 plus. And disability. But, but that's, that's only Amherst. 
Nobody else. I haven't been able to find another a council well, on aging. Let me just say 55 that. and up. Yeah, we can have to But that includes all these. You know, 20 year old exactly. Yeah, I just I thought it was leave it at 55. Right, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, okay. isn't that already a mission statement? Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't isn't said, don't change it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, yeah. why are we that talking about it? Uh, Someone brought it up to drop it to 50 or something. There's actually there were two people that actually approached us and they live at the Salvo house, and one of them. Um, was 52 years old. Um, he has MS, and it would have been very beneficial for him to be using uh, our fitness center instead, and very affordable, which those yeah. two are. Were, it's correct. And he can't do it, so because of our policy. And the other person was a blind woman who lived next door, and right. that's where we started the discussion. So I just wanted to clarify. And there was one other organization that actually had. Um, 98% of the population that are using the senior center must be 55, but then there's that 1% of the population that would be welcome because of uh, the we circumstances. Okay. As an ADA coordinator for the, the state of the city of Northampton, I really wanted to present it and get the support of the board. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I say, I say leave, leave our mission leave statement alone. alone. Leave it. How many vote? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You gotta make a motion. Oh, make a motion. <laughs> I can't do that. I make a motion to leave it 55 and up. Is that make it? Make a motion to just uh, retain so, our current. Oh, retain that yeah. current. Oh, that I like that. I second. Motion. But I can't make motions. <laughs> okay. Okay. I second. Okay, we got. I make a vote. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? One. The legal department just opposed. <laughs> and would you like to tell us why? Okay. And if anything would like, would the like. The two examples that Linda them. gave, I, I thought were persuasive. What was that situation that you just yeah. described where there was, they had a, like a, a fix, they said 1% can be a certain age, or what, well, what um, were you just 1 describing? 1%, um, there's a, a, there was some flexibility for the 1%. 99% um, had to be um, during the, the age thing, but that would give them the potential of um, people. It's, you know, I, I, could, I have to say that it's really hard for me, who has been a social worker for 50 years, to, to say to a person who's 55 years old, 52 years old, who lives across the street, um, it, it's, it's hard for me to say no. But, you know, I'll, I'll you well, know, we go by age the... age limits on everything. You can't drink till you're a certain age. You can't drive till you're a certain age. You can't, I mean, there's age limits on everything. You can't get senior discounts till you're a certain age and even higher. I mean, that's just... I think but the location the of the is. senior center is what's doing. Yeah, for but any that new doesn't change our It's because of who's next door. And, and we also don't know how many people that's else, that's else are next door that will say, yeah. oh, you drive yeah. it to 50 if, and if we they all come over. Yeah. Well, that's, you, you know, know that, I mean, that when we were location. trying to locate the senior center, I was on the building committee, that's what the seniors were afraid of, was yeah. that Salvo House was going to come here. Right. And, that's, <laughs> and that you know, I they wanted that. it to be a senior center. So that, that was part, part of senior that what you understand? For all ages? Yes, yeah. disability, you have a disability. Yeah, so then we're going to start the disability. They're going to say, how come a 52 can come? I'm yeah, 48, why well, can't I come? But they're welcome to come in the building. They, they just can't participate in, you know, they're welcome to come in the building. I'm sure. Yeah. But they're not, but they, they can't participate in, in programs. The programs. Which is kind of like that, you know? Done is done. Have we done? Is that done? No, we're not done yet. No, I mean with that. Oh, with that. I don't know if there's anyone else got any comments on it. Okay, we'll move on to the new senior center flag. Yeah. So, um, Joanne is calling the, uh, well, actually, you want to start where we, um, you've approached Steve. It's you? already ordered online coming in, and I have, I'm working on a flyover and a formal wow. presentation a with the new flag. Oh, yeah, I got the great. contact. <laughs> The, um, the gym coach, gym coach, for when? Time. For when? It's going. We're probably trying to get it sometime between the first of December and the fifteenth. Okay. I already have an honor guard already programmed. Cool. Uh, I've got four Air Force people and one general that will speak at the flag, oh. and it's going to be it takes a relative. An act of Congress. Congress. It takes an act of Congress to get a flyover. Yeah, it does. Yeah. 
I got, an, S I got, an, I got an SR 71 coming over. Yeah, no, it takes a yeah. lot to get out here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand. We're, uh, we're getting a flyover of what? Of an airplane. 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 Is this time? Yeah. Kind of when we raise the new flag. Yeah. We raise the new flag and the airplane oh, flies I over. Oh, it's going to like a banner behind the, the no. airplane. That's not. 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 That's that. When as soon as I get everything okay. completely yeah. squared away, I don't want to put too many people out on the right. street because, like she said, I'm playing some serious games oh, yeah, trying to get a flyover with an SR-71 especially, and they're going to have they're going to have a problem with have to fly to yeah. couple. They're going to have a lot of complaints. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yes. Oh, well, Especially in you this know, area. if anyone hasn't looked complaints. up, I hadn't looked up. I just, you know, I'm in my own world sometimes. But other people have told me how, what a horrible situation. The it's really just deplorable. So I looked up and I go, oh my God. So anyway, as you leave today, look up and just see it. And we really do need a new flag, and it's been and then you'll save it for when the Boy Scouts collect them to burn them. With no, I'll take care of that also. The Elks yes. does it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do with the Elks. I had what somebody ask me today. today. I'm in and charge of that fiesta too. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you have to do. You have to burn a flag with a ceremony. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 You mean when you're retiring a flag? Right. That's yeah. a different stove. We're throwing it away. We're destroying it. Yeah. So retiring a flag is different. Right. Oh. You never just throw it away. You never right. throw it away. Right. Burn it. You oh. burn it. Destroy it. But okay. retiring That's is a different. You can retire a flag and give it to somebody <laughs> whose parents had died or somebody died in the war to give it to them. Yeah. That's yeah. a retired yeah. flag. Oh, okay. Thank you for you yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moving right along. Yeah. Yeah. Good John's. Okay. Executive Office of Elder Affairs. You know, we, we always get. Um, so much per seed senior, um, and last year we had $10 uh, per senior. We had 5,780 seniors, according to the last census. That number is going to go up. There's no doubt in my mind if, when we get another census. Um, this year it's um, $9.70. Oh, so, it, but that it doesn't mean too too much. Um, so last year we got seven five fifty seven thousand eight hundred. This year we'll have fifty six thousand sixty six. Um, and in support of that, to, so that we don't have to say, oh my gosh, Mary's um, Mary's little sale has to get two thousand more dollars coming in. But so um, I just thought it would be nice uh, for those that have this. I'm I'm not sure um, why some don't and some do. But let me just say in 2016 budget, which was from the fifth, um, June 30th to 2015 to July 1st, 2017, um, the income that the city that you all may happen through this hundreds of fundraising events that we have going ongoing here. Um, we had 144,604 realized. Um, it, it, that's a pretty exceptional number. And the, fall, the next year, 2017, which was as of um, June 30th, um, 2016 to July 1st, 2017, the number was 1,476, 147,951. Um, so it, it was going up. It, it started to go up a few, a few hundred, actually. And then 2018, so we've only got, we only had the, uh, the budget up to October 31st. So from June to October 31st, um, we real, realized um, 55,222. And so I multiplied, because that's, that's a quarter, I multiplied it by three quarters. So we're looking on, we're going, getting to a point of a, approximately 165,668. That's that's not a real number, but it's it, it's showing that, you know, by the by increasing um, uh, the the number of rentals, I mean there's all sorts of variables that um, why this is happening. Is that aside from from for senior or is that includes the money for senior? That, no, this is this it's is just not. Operating. This is what we fundraise oh, on an this annual. Is so this is a profit. This huh? is all profit. This is all, well. It's not all profit. Mm -hmm. It's we have to raise. What I can do yeah. next next month is is show you 
you know, um, do a very similar tally to, you know, what was spent and what was yeah. extra yeah. next year too. Yeah, the profit but I, is really what we need to look at. Okay. Yeah, but I but the income I just wanted to show you that is that we are, you know, we're doing it and it's and and it's not necessarily killing anybody and it, we're having fun with it. Um, whether and some of it is the beautiful gala, um, some of it is the great picnic that um, Jim was able to organize, and, and then a lot of it is the rentals and the, the small things, because we continually do the small things, and they're mounting up, and I think that's what I really wanted to show you, that, you know, we're, we're making ends meet, and we, and it feels good. From a director's position, it feels damn good. Thank okay. you, everybody. Part of this money is used to, uh pay salaries for a lot of the staff? Not too much no. of it. Because it, it, we get... Be the 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 no, be, well, let me tell you, because we get... And I'll, I'll, I'll explain it next month, because okay. it'll be... But it's... Um, we get we get a substantial amount of money from the city. We get we get the whatever... We got whatever number, right? Uh, 57, 56,000 from EOEA. And whatever the rest of our budget is, is comes out of this money. But it's okay. We're doing really well. You're doing it. You're doing it. No. With we all, all of us you together. have heard it all. Yeah. It's just, it's yeah. every it's one of these great people. And, and the board, I know, I mean, this is a nice, I don't worry about this meeting. I feel like you, you guys are incredibly supportive in every initiative we try. And you rock. Thank you. Any other the, um, I have one announcement. The governor has just put in place a commission on LGBT elders for the state. Wow. And they've asked me to represent Western Mass. Woo! Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll be represented at the state house. Wow. Wow. Well, nice. do you know what we need to do? We need to get a flag. We need we need to get Oh yeah. Where yeah, can a we go? Can we anywhere. Get online. We, we, get we got money in our division. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, sh we will have a ceremony. I would love to do that. You know, we're going yes, to be having a, a big deal in Massachusetts. Yeah. So we need that. Jim, so you have like something to announce? I got one little thing. No, well, two little things. One little thing is one little thing is the conference is going really, really well. I'm really getting excited about it, and Victoria and I are working very close. Um, secondly, we have identified in the Northampton area a situation where elderly are not getting their drugs because they're buying pet food. Okay, I have worked with a lady. I got a lady who's going to call me. The Elks are going to cooperate. We're going to throw a big spaghetti dinner at least once a quarter to pick up money for pet food, and we're going to distribute it through the senior center. This lady is so it's going to have to be a senior from the Northampton area. Blah 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 blah. Can we but reach out to any of the people who sell pet food too. I've already yeah. talked to Perina, and I've got a really good deal with them, and and a couple other folks that are going to give me a cost. Hey, John, you have something for the page? Thank you. Yeah, good idea. Just I, everyone knows it, but I've been hearing more and more. I'm seeing it more and more. Parking is a big problem here. It's unbelievable. I Still think deck. It, it's it's crazy out there. A lot of the time, and we're doing such a good job here. Yeah. People are coming here. Yeah. You're renting here. There's so many activities here. Parking's. A, I don't know what we can do about it, but we got to talk about it as a board. Or somebody got to talk about the only immediate thing that I can think of, and again, I'm just throwing it out there probably to, to you people is put a sign out there saying additional or alternate parking over there or across the street or somewhere so people know that yeah. as they're driving yeah. in, so they don't drive around and 18 the street, times waiting. And I saw people illegally parking yeah, on that strip as you drive in on both sides. There, of course, it's election day. Mm -hmm. you can't play, but, but I've yeah. seen them in other days. That's a nice idea. Yeah. To have a sign. Well, we should maybe have a, a sign there. A big yeah. sign. So we order the signs for the service. I have the sign. to get us more signs. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Park. And then I, you know, short of building new parking lot, which we can't do, there's no land. There's no land. What are we going to do? We got to somehow work on that. Yeah, it is a good idea because we do have the alternate parking at the World War II Club frequently. Yeah. But. 
most everybody doesn't know that. Right. Yeah, now, that's right. Right. Vendors they in don't. there for the craft fair, we they can tell them to park over there. Whenever we have a big else. event like that, like for health and safety fair, we station people yep. in the park right. not to direct people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we don't do that. Yeah, right. Like, and we like that. But a sign that says off the path is really. Yeah. Yeah. That's something to say all the time. Yeah, I parked way over there today. Yeah. Be on the sidewalk. Is there any um, crossing light on that crosswalk? Do you know? No. no. I'm not saying of traffic light, but they had a crossing light. So no, there's an elderly person crossing that street. Yeah. You take your light in your hand to get across. Well, they don't have a crossing yeah, light right. up at Wallace South. Oh, okay. Because that's so they right. got to walk down the street down there and yeah. get that light yeah. come and walk back. They right. probably, because it's relatively close, probably won't put another one. On that. You won't put another one up there close. No. But yeah, the well. signage is some good. What we need to do is get the, uh, we call, every time that there's something, a big event coming, then we always call the World War II. We'll ask them if they wouldn't mind us because um, to, to put that signage. And the housing authority is not quite as adaptable to their, in fact, they, they, you know, we have to call them and uh, they ask us, thank you very much for asking, and they usually give us authority, but for a regular, yeah. it probably, probably wouldn't. Well, we can use the guest parking, they're okay with that. Yeah, for the guest regular parking. Okay, and, well, and the Gazette has, and they, they also feel like, you know, it, it has to be like special events. Yeah, not, not but, regular. No, but the World War II is, is our, our good friend. Good name. I just have one quick thing, just an FYI. Um, um, our St. Patrick's Association, again, is doing the, for the town, the Toys for Tots Drive, and it will take place at the uh, Florence Civic Center right after the parade yeah. in town, the holiday parade. The Saturday, we're doing fill, fill, fill a police vehicle with food for the that pantry. So we yeah, we're doing fill a police car. So the banner will be put outside there. We'll be Do you want to put something in our chronicle? Okay. Yeah, good idea. Oh, it's, okay, sure. It has to be in by Wednesday, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So just send us like you know for your information because okay. people are really reading. Yeah, that. they are. Yeah. 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 Okay. One one last thing I have, and I know we're running late <laughs> <incredibly laughs> here. Okay. So we're going to be here till nine o'clock tonight. Um, <laughs> why, 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 for uh, for about three years now, the, the disability the commission thing. has been wanting to has been. Um, working on a bench and so they we have finally purchased the bench and the bench is there it has to be um it's marianne lavarge wants to have a ribbon cutting for the bench yeah. so on um, november 20th we're going to have our ribbon, ribbon cutting for the bench and there'll be a little bit of um refreshments which for it. what is the bench for again? it's um it's so that there's a, a place for dis dis people with disabilities to sit down as necessary right now and then that, that we have seven benches, but that's all right anyway. You mean so there'll be one benches? More. Where's it going to be? Yeah. Where, where is the bench going to be put? It's, it's actually there now. It has to just be oh, put Formally. in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can they get a motion? Formally on that? Motion to close. Second. Jim <laughs> seconded it. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody want to stick Aye. around? <laughs> <laughs>